Hey y'all, today let's work on a Daiwa Sea Lion at 300H. Uh, I'll show you how to take it apart, uh, break it down, and do some service on it and put it back together. I'm going to start with taking off the handle by removing that set screw right there. And I gotta say, this reel is in nice shape. Except for that one screw. That screw looks a little funky. Alright, so next we'll take off this screw right here so we can remove the handle. And just turning left to get that off. <coughs> like so. Have a little washer under here. And we can back this up. You'll find a couple of washers under there as well. Those two. And let's undo these screws and start removing these uh, plates from it. Take it off for now. And I'm gonna do this one as well. Uh, all the screws over here are gonna be the same size, but I'll show you in a sec. I'm gonna take them all out. <clears throat> Alright, so to remove that bearing inside there, simply push. Comes off, you see an O-ring around it. And that's all I'm gonna remove from here. Uh, that click, the clicker, if you wanted to remove that tongue, just pop off the uh, the E-clip and the stack would drop out just by twisting that off. The stack will drop out and you can uh, work on that. Let's move this out of the way. All right, so here are the screws from the right side. I'm sorry, for the left side and for the right side. Essentially, like I said, they're all the same. Run on screw this. It's a spring there. This should just pull straight out. Oh, that's nice. This is a nice looking reel. All right, enough of me gabbing on this. Oh, not there. How about the nut part? Yeah, so let's get this across or set to the side so we can work on the rest of it. Seem a little long, but all right. So we're gonna do these screws here, so we can get the uh, the bridge off of it, and hopefully this isn't difficult to remove. So the nut. I just can't remember if there should be a nut here or not. <laughs> Alright, I guess so. I don't know. Okay.
Now before I let this go, I'm going to remove the uh, <clears throat> the connection for the dog. I mean, you actually don't really have to. It, it's not going to really go anywhere. But let's pop that off. So we're going to pull up. Don't be difficult. Like that. Just draw that out. <clears throat> we'll leave that there for now. And we're going to pop out these things here. I'm not popping that one out. That was just, you can get, this comes out, <coughs> excuse me, this comes out, uh, but it's, it's pressed in there. So if you want to remove it, it's, it's a little more involved and I can't show you how to do that. Just making sure the bearing is working. It seems like it is. So I'm going to clean that up. Get these screws out of the way. So if you notice on these screws, they're all just not fully threaded. Uh, <coughs> unlike the pen senators where they have a couple fully threaded and some that are not. Taking off the eccentric lever by undoing, <coughs> undoing that screw there. There's a lock washer under it. Pop that up. I'm going to leave that bushing inside there. Let me just pull that through. The bushing is likely going to fall out, so let's just pop it out so we have it out. On the eccentric, there's a tabbed end or a curved end. That'll fit inside there, so we'll just separate that. Now you have the jack <coughs> and the uh, pinion and the yoke there. Notice how the dog sits just like that. That curved end that receives that end of the screw will be facing towards the uh, main gear. Let me just pull the stack off. I'm going to leave it intact. There should be a washer on here somewhere. There it is right there. You may need to replace that. These are some of the things that typically go bad on these reels. We're just going to double check it before we do. All right, so back to the drag stack. You have one washer here, a thick keyed washer. Then you have your drag stack. And the drags look fine. I don't know if maybe we could replace them. That was me talking to myself. And I know I do that sometimes, so I apologize. I'm going to try to pop this up. Uh, pop the sleeve out of here. Uh, if it comes out nicely, then I'll just push it out. If I have to bang it out, I'm not going to take it out. Just give me one second. Yeah, I'm going to have to bang it out, so we're going to leave it alone. We're going to leave it the way it is. All right, so I'm gonna pause the camera, clean this stuff up, come back and show you how to put it together. It's a pretty straightforward reel. Okay, we're back. Uh, I'm going to grease a couple things up. I'm gonna grease this ring, uh, that clicker right there. The tongue. And I'm going to say this now, because I may forget. If you see me do it, please remind me that I did it and I shouldn't do it. That's obviously a joke. A very dry joke. Okay, um, make sure that clicker is disengaged when you're putting everything back together, uh, the spool and stuff. Uh, because you don't want that kind of getting in the way. Sometimes you can lock things up and you might over tighten something and break something. So I put the. Uh, the bearing in next. I didn't mean to take that off because I didn't want to take it off. Slide this back up. Uh, maybe I should in here because I want to grease those holes. 
and since we're greasing stuff, we're going to grease inside there as well. Anyhow, as I was saying, popping this uh, bearing in, simply push it down. I'm going to line this back up for the holes. Somewhere around there. All right, good. I'm going to grease the inside rings, or these, I'm sorry, not inside rings, but these rings. Let's oil that bearing that's inside there. And let's put this plate on, or this ring on the outside on, and screw that in place. Any of the screws will do, they're all the same. I say that and some look longer than others, so let me just double check. Yeah. They're all the same size. Where's the other screw? Oh. Alright, that's tight enough for now. I guess let's go ahead and do the same for the inside here. It looks like we're just going to be jumping around a little bit. Uh, I did go ahead and replace the drags, the drag washers on them or on it. Because the customer's request was to change the drags, they just didn't look that bad. So if you didn't want to replace them, they still work. I was pulling uh, 12 pounds of drag with that, so it wasn't that bad. All right, so let's do the this side. I'm gonna oil that bearing just right now, and now we're gonna put the eccentric in. I like to put this in first before I do anything else over here. So let's grease this up. I'm sick of some grease in that hole where the screw is going to go. And the key for this reel is. Uh, just to balance some things around so let's stick the eccentric on first and then we're going to put that bushing in there I'm gonna add a little bit of grease to that tip right there that curved tip and then just stick it in the hole just kind of line it up like that pinch it together so it doesn't fall out on you and even then it still falls off sometimes. If it does, just put it back in. Now I'm gonna take the bushing and stick it over it. And you can do this either way you want. You don't have to do it this way. I'm just lining it up for that little notch right there. A little notch right there. The uh, end of that spring will go inside there. Let me work on this bushing. All right, that looks good. I think we're in business. Let's double check. Let's start over with this. I don't want to get
get too far along with this thing and it's feeling like it's raised up on me somehow. This might fall out again. I hope it doesn't. All right, so now I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna use this lever, uh, flipped the wrong way around to kind of balance this. Let me just go in here and double check that spring is in place. Perfect, so it's in place. I just turned it to the balance point of where it doesn't fall back or forward. And now I'm just gonna flip it over and screw it in. I already put the lock washer back on there. That might fall off. If it does, you can add some grease to inside here. Just helps it stay in place. screw that in if that lever falls don't worry about it you can always reset it before you lock this screw down snug it down make sure you're good and that feels good the grease here around that post right there and a little bit back a little bit more around that uh, eccentric all right, so let's jump to the the main gear. All right, let's grease all these things up here. I'm greasing the outside of the main gear. I'm not going to grease the inside. bottom and while I'm here I'm going to do nothing else we're just gonna work on that we're just gonna work on this <laughs> you can also grease this area here if you want uh, it's really not required but since we're already doing it we're gonna continue And I'm going to show you these two posts here. Uh, this is the, For me, this one is the key one, not this one. Uh, where we're putting this main gear or putting this stack back in, we'll need to pay attention to that post right there. I greased the top here of this, but I didn't grease the teeth on the dog. I'm also going to add some grease to right there. And a very light amount of grease to, this, to the sleeve. All right, so first goes the washer. Let's take on our main gear. One drag, one keyed metal washer. Next drag, the aired metal washer. Make sure it fits in the slots that are on there. And you saw the next drag and the last key washer. Put that on and our stack is good. Now we get to this part and this is a little bit of a balancing act here. Uh, so it might take one or two tries for you to do, but it's not gonna be super difficult. All right, I'm gonna grease the pinion up. to grease everything inside here.
do the jack as well. Add a little bit of grease right there. And I think we are good to go. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do the yolk. I'm going to set that up already. Just kind of goes, there's a little slot that fits in. If you can see that. Rest that down. I'm going to drop these springs on just like this. And I want to make sure my dog, I'm sorry, my eccentric is in that position. Now I'm going to take the yoke, place all the springs, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. But it's just more of a balancing act than anything else. So if you're like me and you have shaky hands, then it might take a couple tries. All right, I put that on, put those two holes over the springs and pushed down. All I'm doing at this point is just resting it over there. I'm going to go backwards or to free spool so I have it set all the way over there. Now I'm going to let that part go and push down on the, the jack. I want to make sure that's set up in there kind of like that and we look good. Keep that pressed and all we have to do at this point is just kind of tilt it up like this and you're gonna go straight in. Like I said, you might have a couple tries at it. It's really the easiest way of doing it. All right, so let's try that one more time. Same thing. Then just kind of straight in you go. Find that hole. That hole right there. I already put it in. I don't want to take it out again because I don't want things slipping. But that post that I showed you earlier that's kind of key for me. I want to make sure it goes in that hole. Once I get there, I just keep that pressed very snugly. Now I'm going to secure this with one of these screws. And at this point, you can let everything go. All right, so now you can let that go. Make sure everything is good and it all looks good. Don't play with this yet. Just wait until you're finished with everything. I'm gonna stick some more screws in and then we'll work on the, uh, the anti-reverse or the dog on it. All right, so now we can do the dog. So for the dog, we're gonna have it sitting, again, remember it's gonna be sitting like that. Just stick it in there. It'll fit, like so. Get our screw and put that through the hole that's also through the dog. And screw that in to secure it. Now we just gotta take our spring, wrap one end around that shaft or post right there, and the other end around the the dog. Get off. Now you can always double check to make sure it's working properly. And we're good. I'm gonna put this nut back on since it was there. I honestly just don't remember if it should be there or not. 
I mean, there's like a little hole there, so I'm guessing that I don't do these reels that often anymore, guys. Uh, so your best bet is to always kind of just follow what you see. If it's working properly, then it's likely correct. not all the way in. Oh yeah it is. No it isn't. I didn't think so. I'm screwing it all the way up first and then making sure I snug this uh, nut down over it. That should be good. Let's do our last one and then we'll work on the rest of the reel. That all looks good. That's probably the most difficult part. Well, that is the most difficult part of putting the wheel back together. All right, let's get our spool and then we'll finish this up. Grease here on that shoulder there. I'll grease here as well. I will stick this into the left side. Remember that the clicker is disengaged. Like so. Then I'm going to do an inventory check to make sure I didn't forget anything here. This looks good. Those four holes are going to line up with these four holes right there. Maybe a little bit of playing to kind of get it there. But once they're lined up, you are essentially good to go. right there uh, you can take your your ring kind of balance that and you can do it one or two ways you can go this way just like that or you can go to the thin part and then rotate it this one actually is pretty straightforward let me make sure that's lined up now if you lose track of these holes what you can do is press down on that as you rotate until you feel some resistance I think I feel some right there so I think that's where one hole is drop that into free spool all right so let's go ahead and tighten all these screws down make sure these are good all right so now we can stick this part on and get our washers on there these washers are these are essentially tension washers they're gonna sit above that sleeve that we just put on there and they're going to face each other so it's, it'll look like that where you see like a little gap in between it you don't want them um, nested you kind of want them facing each other to create the most amount of tension these are keys so make sure you find the groove before you put them on 
Now, before I get any further, I'm going to stick this uh, uh, tension knob on there. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to right there. Stick on our spring. And I'm going to add some grease as well to the threads inside here. Oh, sorry, I think I was off camera for that. I added some grease inside the threads. You can add them to the outside. It's all the same thing. I just kind of want to make sure this doesn't get locked up. And you have to use a little bit of force, push down as you turn. And make sure you don't cross thread this. This is a very stiff kind of spring, so. Oh, come on. All right, there we go with that. I'm not going to put that all the way down yet. All right, so now we can stick on our star drag. I'm going to put some more grease there. I'm going to add some grease inside here where that uh, screw is going to go to secure the handle. And I'm just going to screw it down. You might get to a certain point here where you can't screw it anymore. Just make sure you get it started properly. If that happens, then you can just take your handle and set it over it like so. And then just work it down. That looks far enough. This washer goes on. The way it sits is the curved end kind of face, uh, face down. And then we can stick our handle on there. I like it like that. Do I like it like this? I like it like this. As long as I don't remember how it was before. So hopefully it was like this. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, grease inside there, right there, around where it's going to rest against that plate. Top side where the screw is going to go. And where that set screw is going to go. I'm going to stick some grease inside the hole. Let's just screw it in. Now we're going to line one of those curved edges up with that hole so we can put the set screw in. That looks pretty good. And now I'm just putting the set screw in and we'll be done with the reel. Well, almost done. We're going to do the handle. Alright, so for the handle I'm going to oil there and up, to and up top. So oil there. Stick some oil on that hole right there. And they just kind of spin it. All right, let's test the reel up, make sure everything works properly. Free spool. Too much there. Free spool looks good. That looks good. Clicker works nicely. This drag does feel quite a bit better actually. So that's good. Alright. Hope to help some of you guys out there. Uh, again, please don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe, that like button, and tell your friends about the channel if you appreciate the content. Uh, I will see you guys next time.